All right, hey everybody, this is Messinac. Nobody else today, but that's cool. And I am here to bring you a video on an important issue which is happening right now, and that is the arrival of finalized 2014 Hero Factory set pictures for Invasion from Below. Now, I'm not going to really go too crazy into in-depth opinions because I'll be completely honest, they haven't changed as far as design goes at all from what I can see from prototypes. What has changed is bag art and then some of the coloring for pieces used, printed parts, and obviously because these are better pictures, without the confidential stamp we can get a pretty good look at how the thing's actually constructed. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today, so it shouldn't go on for too long. Okay, so first of all, two of the sets are missing. These sets were found on Walmart, uh, the Walmart Canadian site. They were posted along with a bunch of other themes pictures, and Job East vs. Stormer and Evo Walker have not been posted yet. So when they're posted, I'm going to make a secondary update video that should be pretty quick, just talking about them. The rest of the sets have, in fact, been posted, though, and we're going to start off with the big uncertainty, the one that, in the prototype stages, nobody was really, you know, excited for because the set's build is lackluster, to put it nicely. Evo XL Machine. So I'm going to be completely honest. I'm looking at this set, and it's finalized, and I still don't really know what to make of it. So I'm going to have to wait for reviews of this set to really make a you know fair estimate, because some of the modeling on these pictures is kind of warped, and I cannot really get a good look at the set's construction as a whole, however, from what I can see, specifically around the hip area, with all those Technic bits, it looks like they're trying to do some different things with him and give him some more articulation in those areas. Problem being, this is just my opinion, it doesn't look good at all. <laughs> it still looks like a, the most jumbled mess of Technic down there. And I don't know what's going on with those lower legs. I'm not even going to try to guess. But, um, hmm. How do I put this nicely? I can't. They're awful. These lower legs, they have a Technic beam that goes down. And then there's armor just kind of hanging off the side. It looks terrible. I don't like it at all. Not a fan. The arms, eh. The paw arm is fine. The other arm, I don't know. They use some kind of double arm technique for the launcher, and then they have the ammo belt, and then they have printed armor pieces on both of the arms, and I don't know, something about it just looks off to me personally. Now the minifigure, he looks cool. I'm a, I like the minifigure's design, um, and I'm glad we get to see those clearer now. Bigger, better quality pictures, I'm, I'm a fan of the, all of the minifigures. But this set just isn't doing it for me. I can see they're trying to do different things, and I'm going to wait to actually see reviews of the set and how it's constructed before condemning it. But it, I was hoping it would improve upon finalized pictures. My opinion of it certainly has not changed at all, especially because it costs $25. If it was $20, maybe I could give it a pass. But for $25, no. No, just no. All right. So next up, we have Flyer Beast versus Breeze. This set hasn't changed at all. You know, there's no printed pieces being added or anything. Oh, wait. Uh, before I move on to Flyer Beast, there's one more thing I wanted to say about the Evo XL machine. And that is they've changed the art on the top of the bags. And they've given each hero unique artwork on the top of the bags. And all I have to say is Evo XL machines drawing looks so much better than the actual set like you you know you look up there and you see the legs up there and they look great and then you look down there and they're a mess so anyway flyer beast versus breeze hasn't changed at all so i really have nothing to say um there are, oh except for the upper left leg has a new printed piece added 
So hooray, they're back to doing this whole thing where they have one leg <laughs> or one arm have this weird printed piece, which I guess is cool because it's more pieces to add to your collection, but it's just, you know, asymmetricality for the sake of asymmetricality, and I've never personally been a fan of that. But it doesn't look bad. It's just kind of weird. An oddity. And the claw arm uh, actually has no lower arm piece, which I hate with a passion. The socket is just connected to the upper arm, and I am going to have to fix that because I don't like how that looks at all. Aside from that, Breeze looks cool. Eh, let's move on. Inferno Jet Machine looks pretty much the same, except for you know one or two minor details. Uh, I see a printed piece on the right arm. There's You can get a good shot at how the mechs are actually going to be built with that piece that they that sits behind the heroes and then the cockpit with you know their names on them now which I guess I should have mentioned for Evo XL machine and you know he's pretty much exactly the same as the preliminary pictures but that being said I really have nothing more to say on him because he was always kind of an uninteresting set however he's solidly well designed so you know he gets points in my book for that Let's see. It's left. Rock Stealth Machine, pretty much the exact same case. Although there are a couple interesting things with him that I would like to mention. One of which being the claw arm. The piece they're using to attach the claws to the socket, I have to wonder, is that new? Because I've never seen that before, and that looks to be a very, very useful piece. Eh. And I would like to get my hands on some of those. So that's pretty much all I have to say on him. I'm kind of speeding through these simply because, you know, we kind of already discussed these to death in a 40 minute long video. And I'm not seeing many substantial changes. This is what I don't get about people that say you can't really see too much from images with confidential stamps. So you shouldn't judge them at all because they're preliminary. Well, yes, the pictures we got may have been from the late stage of prototyping. However, the confidential stamp really did not obscure too much. Like, I'm looking at these, and what I'm able to see is pretty much exactly what I was able to see with the confidential stamp, just slightly better. So, you know. With Splitter Beast, the bag art, the concept art at the top is great. I love how that looks. He looks very menacing. And then the actual set... You get a better look at the headpieces here, and uh, I would go so far as to wager that there are stickers on these headpieces to add details. And I can kind of, you can kind of see this on the orange head for Splitter Beast. It just looks too elevated to be printing. And then also the top of the head, the, uh, the top half attaches via via red pin, which is good. And then there are pinholes to put spikes and whatnot in the top of the heads, which I also really enjoy, because that opens up the piece to other uses. And then, this pretty much confirms, I think, that it's two creatures which can split apart, and one of them is probably going to have wings, and then the other is going to keep the claws and whatnot. I, I don't know how they're going to do it, but I firmly believe this is the case. <laughs> And he also has two printed armor pieces on his upper legs, which are blue, and, you know, hey, they look neat and whatnot. And finally, there's Stormer Freeze Machine, which looks pretty much exactly the same. Not much different with him. Uh, aside from the fact that the torso armor, maybe it's like this on the others, too, it does not look to especially look too good from the side like you can see the torso you know f just from this angle so imagine how bad it's gonna look from the side it's not gonna be armored enough I don't think but here's hoping it does not look all that bad nothing really has changed on him either so hey you know that's that's invasion from below 
my opinions are pretty much exactly the same as the preliminaries. They look cool. I see a lot of, you know, interesting pieces used, and especially the minifigures. That's a big deal. And I like how they look, and I'm curious to see. Because I, I may be wrong. I probably am. But I almost think they have some extra arm articulation. Because if you look at where the arms connect to the torso, you can clearly see that the they connect in such a way it may open them up to have some more articulation, and I sincerely hope that's the case. But again, reviews are the next big landmark, and if they're already up on Walmart's Canadian site, they should be showing up in stores decently quickly here. I mean, it's you know it's the 12th of November. We usually get them in December, so here's hoping that holds true. But they'll probably be up on Toys R Us dot com sooner rather than later so thank you all for watching and i will see you all next time